hi uh, today i will cover uh, design patterns uh, so in this uh, tutorial i will explain what is design patterns and i will provide some explanation of uh, design patterns so in the down you can uh, see uh, the diagram and uh, here top you can see design pattern so there are lot of uh, design patterns are there around uh, uh, 50 plus uh, design patterns are there so each design pattern describes a problem okay also it describes uh, in which situation the problem occurs and also this uh, design pattern provides solution for each and every problem that solution you can use it in many times okay and also the design pattern uh, says when when you have to use that particular design pattern uh, means when to apply that particular design pattern and it also uh, explains the consequences uh, if you use that particular uh, solution or if you use the particular design patterns what are the consequences and also this design pattern uh, provide uh, some examples how to do that okay so the basically the design pattern describes a uh, problem which occurs uh, for the particular situation and design pattern provides solution that solution you can use it in many times and also it uh, describes when to when to apply or when to use that particular uh, design pattern and if you use the particular design pattern what are all consequences uh, that also it explains and it provides some examples so this is about uh, design pattern okay we will see some of the explanation which i found in the web so this is the first uh, definition of uh, design pattern uh, which said by Christopher Alexander uh, I will read out each pattern describes a problem which occurs over and over again in our environment and then describes a core solution to that problem in such a way that you can use this solution a million times over without ever doing it in the same way twice so like I explained uh, early so each design pattern uh, describes a problem and uh, it provide a solution for that particular problem that solution you can use it in uh, many times okay that is what the first explanation or definition uh, is uh, telling and uh, the second uh, explanation which I found in web a design pattern systematically names motivates and explains a general design that addresses a recurring design problem in object-oriented uh, systems uh, it describes the problem the solution when to apply that particular solution and the consequences if you use that particular solution and it also gives implementation hints and examples so it give uh, it, uh, it it tells what is the problem the solution when to apply the problem and the consequences if you used and provide uh, some implementation hints and examples the solution is general arrangement of objects and classes that solve the problem uh, the solution is customized and implemented to solve the problem in particular context uh, so uh, how the solution is uh, mentioned is uh, general arrangement of objects and classes that if you see some of the design pattern uh, examples you will understand what uh, what the sentence means okay um, the third point is a pattern must explain why the particular situation causes the problem so it should not uh, just tell what is the problem it also it should tell when the particular uh, problem occurs what situation uh, causes the particular problem and why the proposed solution is considered a good one there are a lot of uh, solution will be there for the particular problem but the pattern should explain why the proposed solution is considered a good one okay and uh, we can take uh, example of a database normalization so here if you t if you see this one we can discuss example here about database normalization uh, so to explain uh, this design pattern uh, here they are uh, taking database normalization uh, so normalization is a pattern okay that is the solution for the database design uh, there are different kind of uh, normalization is there normalization form one form two like that so what level of uh, normalization you want to use in your application uh, is depends on your requirement and context so there are different kind of normalization is there normalization form 1 form 2 so form 1 you want to use or form 2 you want to use that is depends on uh, your uh, requirement and context this pattern just explain the 
problem and the solution which uh, which pattern you have to use which one you have to use that is up to you up to your requirement and the context okay and uh, fifth point is a design pattern isn't a finished design that can be da uh, transformed directly into code uh, it is a description or template for how to solve the problem uh, that can be used in many different solution so the design pattern doesn't mean that it is a finished one okay finished design uh, it is just a template or description the problem and the solution and some examples will be there you cannot directly uh, transform the design pattern to the code uh, it it just to provide the uh, solution for the particular problem so it is not a finished uh, uh, finished product or something okay and uh, these are the explanation i found in uh, web um, we'll see the last one again a yeah, design pattern is in a finished design that can be transformed directly into code uh, meaning it is not a finish uh, uh, design for the particular uh, problem you, we, you can directly use uh, or transform into the code it is a just a description or template uh, for how you can solve the problem uh, that you can use in many different uh, situation okay and uh, next tutorial uh, we will see uh, different kind of uh, design patterns i have explained design pattern catalogs uh, what are the different kind of uh, design patterns are there and i have created uh, a lot of videos uh, related to design patterns uh, please log into my channel and watch each and every design pattern and understand uh, that and uh, this is about uh, design patterns uh, introduction and uh, thanks for watching bye